Um, James Sale, when did you start Motivational Maps and what was the spark that made you start it? Well, we started in 2006, uh, Jeremy, mm -hmm. and um, really I'd been a trainer and a coach for over 10 years at that point. Mm -hmm. And two things became very, very clear to me. Firstly, as a trainer, I developed a series of very interesting, and I would describe them as proprietary tools and techniques, which I knew were original and different in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And secondly, I also realized that while I love training and coaching, uh, and I thought I was running a business, I wasn't. What I was, I was self-employed. Mm -hmm. And I f it took me 10 years to work it out, so I, I, I can't be the brightest person in the pack, but I began to realize that when I stopped working, I wasn't making any money. And that this was really a problem. I needed to be, instead of being self-employed, I needed to have a proper business, mm -hmm. a business that created residual income. So when I put those two concepts together, that I'd been creating these tools that had value, and the idea that maybe, instead of just being self-employed and doing training, so in trading my time for money, I could create extra value that other people would want to buy into, um, it was a no-brainer. So I took about five years or more to develop the Motivation Maps tool. Motivation interests me, it's always interested me. Uh, I developed this tool and it started off very small. It, originally back in 2006, it was just a four page report. Mm -hmm. As you know, eight years on now, it's, mm -hmm. it's 15 pages, there's a team report, there's this, there's that, it's a lot bigger. So it's, it's been growing and growing since 2006. Mm -hmm.